What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Full Metal Alchemist D&D. As always, I'm your host, Connor. With us, we have Mike as Max. Yo, yo. Nick as Elijah. Hello. Red as Ivan. Ivan Land Cruiser the Third in the building. And Dan is Alsawa. Quick recap is what happened last time. The team met General Sherman and faced him in combat, leading to more than one of them coming near death. They then joined him to his home, where he is going to be training them. And lastly, he pulled Max away from everyone else to have a nice, friendly, calm discussion. <laughs> it threatened me. You should know the importance of family. <laughs> Easy so I don't remember. I, I don't remember if I said this last time or if I said this or if I was supposed to say this this time. There are a couple of changes in the book worth noting, uh, such as first aid kit details have been implemented. So you know exactly how much it's healing and what you're going to be rolling. Well, it's not like uh, I and, used those. never have to worry about it. And the ammo system has been slightly <laughs> reworked for um, automatic weapons. I also just realized General Sherman is a beaky Marino. I like that. Yeah. I did uh, an ever so small amount. What's the button? Is it Z? Pops it up for everybody. I did an ever so slight amount of uh, copy or, or of, uh, <laughs> Photoshop on him. You can see the eye, to imitate the glass eye, and then putting on the uh, the hat on him. Yep. He has a drip now. Subtle. Prove it. Yeah. Wait. Oh my God. Survival check divided by three. Oof. Yes. It is not a huge benefit, but it is a benefit. It can save many lives. And I also might change it to be divided by two in the future. We're going to see how this goes. I also might allow a feat that allows you to uh, just be better with them. Also, flesh is a tier five now. Darn it. Yes. Makes sense. What would bone be? I think Bone would be uh, probably tier two. Little I don't bone. know. It's I don't know. It's a density, but uh, or it's a chemical makeup. But I imagine it is relatively similar to stone in terms of complexity. Uh kind of. Bone's primarily calcium, and calcium is a mineral, and calcium's common. Calcium's technically a metal, but calcium's also a very common part of different types of stone and. Stuff like that. Yeah. So I think tier two is fine with that. I think that's fair. Yeah. My next All right. going to bone and Personally, I would go blood to <laughs> tier two since blood is mostly water, and I would put the bone at tier three, but that's just me. I could both be tier two. Anyway. So, Sherman and Max. Oh, God. Now oh, I just you see the zoomed in? Yeah, I was on the other screen and it just <laughs> popped up. Like a freaking jump scare. I enhanced your image for you. So you two are walking for a solid 10 minutes before he finally stops. And you are just in the middle of nowhere. You have a general idea of where you came from, but you see how he has also kind of taken some turns as he's gone to try and make sure that you are lost and you will not be able to do anything without him. It turns around and he faces you. Hello, Max. Hello. Wait, didn't we already have like a discussion? Or is this something else? <laughs> Am I muted? Oh. No, no, I heard that. I don't think he had a discussion. I think he had a very brief discussion with you. Yeah. That's saying he's aware of your stuff. Yeah, and then he threw in my family. Oh yeah, yeah. He was talking about that, saying about how the dangers of all that are. But now he's pulling you aside to to finish this conversation. Okay. So Max, there are some things I need you to tell me. You see, he stiffens out his right hand, and you can hear, or you can see the uh, blue lightning of alchemy being performed, and you can hear a sound ripping through his glove. And that is. Before I go into it, understand that anything you say to me, anything you say that was false, then I know is false. 
I will kill you for. Ask away. Why did you break that man out of prison? It was a request, a request for a friend. I request that whoever doesn't have sound blips turned off, turn them off. That was me. Is that one more time, Max? I said it was a request for a friend. Of a friend. Who? I don't know who the friend of the friend was. Which I guess would... Yeah, that's that's fair. Yeah, it, it was, I don't know who the friend of the friend was. But, uh... Just discretion, you know. My friend is on my team. I don't know how much you, you really want to dig into that. Or how important that is to you. Who is the friend, Max? The Ivan is my friend. So Ivan asked you to do this because someone else asked him to do it. That's right. And instead of reporting this, you pursued it. Why? That's right. There seemed to be some merit in it. I don't know who this guy is, but... uh. You know, maybe maybe there's something in it for me. Who knows? Maybe it was a dud. Maybe this guy can't uh, can't help Ivan after all, which means maybe he can't help me. Speaking of Ivan, then, what about him? I want you to give me your honest impression of him. Do you not think he's uh? trustworthy individual? Do I think he isn't? I've heard a couple of concerning reports recently. So no. No, I don't think he's a trustworthy individual. If you all can see my face right now. (laughs) (laughs) I don't think uh, Ivan is someone you need to be worried about. He's, He's probably the least of your worries. Sure, he's got his own goals, and maybe some find his behavior questionable. Um, but it, it, by no means uh, does he have any malicious intent. You see, this is just narrowing at you with that. Why is your team spec- skeptical of him? I almost said spectacle. <laughs> Uh, not so much a team, uh, more of an individual that kind of spurs uh, spurs the rest. Uh, Tony. Yeah, why do you think he is skeptical of Ivan? I haven't the slightest. What he says is, I guess he just thinks that uh, his his family is influencing the government in some way. There's no, you know, evidence of such a thing. So it's just a baseless accusation. Who the fuck and you know how reconnect? basic accusations go. <laughs> they only spur more rumors. One moment, though. Yep. And besides, you know, oh, I guess I'll wait. Yeah. No, no. He's <laughs> done that perfectly. Right. And besides, you know, it's it's his family. He's he's more concerned with not Ivan himself, the individual. It's got nothing to do with that. So again, more baseless accusation. Why is it that you continue your anti-military acts? Uh, this, you know, yeah, I'm, a, I'm a, just a victim of circumstance this time. You know, my own goals aligned with, you know, my my allies, which just so happen to be, you know, what you would consider anti-military. A victim of circumstance. Breaking a man out of prison is circumstance? Uh, Not not that part, no. And that's, you know, an illegal act, you know. I'm not against the government. However, uh, you know, my goals coincided with someone who just so happened to be, you know, (laughs) not not, not quite legal. But through legal means, you know, we we wouldn't be able to achieve uh, means to an end. 
What about your other incidents? I would say that you assigning or uh, aligning with the traitor alchemists is more than circumstance. I'm not going to paint, you know, uh, you know, a, a, a gray picture for you. What what I seek is knowledge, and you know, if uh, if the the cost uh, seems worth it, you know, maybe, you know, it's it's worth it. And you think that a bunch of traitors can give you knowledge more than the military? It seemed like it. They talked a good talk. What do you think now? I'll never know now. I don't care what you know. I'm asking you what you think. Maybe they do. But they weren't willing to share it. And it's not worthwhile. Elaborate on that. They told me that it wasn't worth it. That they wouldn't share it with me regardless. So why bother? What is the knowledge that you pursue? (laughs) Okay, so... So just to clarify metagame, so the fear says specifically that I wasn't supposed to talk about what exactly. He said you aren't supposed to talk about um, uh, the alcastry. Okay, so he didn't say anything about like philosophers doing that. He said, "Oh, he was cool with that," but he said just just alcastry is what he specified. Uh, That is all I recall banning you from saying. Okay. What I seek is knowledge of, in this country, uh, what's called the Philosopher's Stone. You see, he gets a little bit of a coy smile at this. The Philosopher's Stone. That's what you seek. To what end? To what end? You know, I started in a very different place, General. You see, long ago, a friend of mine, very close friend of mine, passed. I took it very hard, and I thought, you know, if 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 there was a chance with this country's science, maybe I could make uh make the impossible possible. But uh, over time, I begin begin to realize, you know, perhaps I'm approaching this in the in the wrong light. You know, the the opportunities could be much greater than just, uh, you know, just, you know, one individual's life. You know, many lives could be affected by this. <clears throat> and maybe it's, uh, maybe it's a bit more dangerous than, you know, some people have let on, as, you know, as, as I've seen firsthand. Uh, but uh, regardless, you know, e- even if, you know, that's past goal is still impossible. There are other things that can be achieved. Why should we trust you? Mm. Why trust anyone? I don't have a good reason for you to to trust me. (laughs) Hey, I can say the same for you. Well, you shouldn't trust me. I'm part of this military. I am part of the most powerful state in this world. You can trust me to serve the state, to serve the people, and to serve this country. I won't know why in the world we should continue to give you a chance when all you have done time and time again is break your bond, break your word, and act against us. Uh, so first off, I'm gonna, uh, since he, you know, with within now a 60 foot radius since I level up. Just have to be certain about a couple things before this uh, this goes any. <laughs> oh yeah. So, so you use that to see if there's anyone within that radius. Yeah. There's no one other than him. 
Okay. All right. I was going to say specifically, you know, very malicious. Uh, some bad, bad chi. But, uh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what, what if I were to tell you, General, that there's a great evil lurking in this country and you just so happen to be working for them? Coincidentally, of course. I would say that you should watch your words very much. It's all hypothetical scenario. If if that evil that you've sworn to protect ordered you to do something evil is equally evil as your standards hold against, what would you do? I will act in the best interests in the best interests of this country. I see. Well, that's all the questions I have for you. Hopefully you got what you needed out of me. I still have yet to understand why I should trust you. Okay. I don't have a reason for you to trust me. Just think of me as a wild card. That's not how military works, son. No mm. wild cards here. This is about order. Okay, well, how about this? My goals don't align with the traitors that you're currently pursuing, which are the enemies of the military. My goals currently align with uh, the leader of this country. Is that enough to, uh, to trust me? No. You see, we both seek the same thing. It's not enough for me to trust you. I don't believe your words. But you can see alchemy again. And you see his hands, his gloves kind of return to normal as he kind of stretches his hand. But you've given me enough to let you live. I need you to understand something, Max. Despite what I said previously, I don't care where you came from. I don't care who you are, what your people are. I don't care anything about that. What I care about is the best interest of this country. And the second you give me a reason, the second you give me the proof that you are acting against those interests, I will kill you. So I recommend you work on building up some trust. What's your thing, General? Let's go. Who the heck? Is that Craig? Yeah, Craig's here. Yeah. Zach's not here, so I have to use uh, Craig, not Alistair. Yeah, that's her, like a join. Oh, so confused. Craig? <clears throat> So you all return back to the cottage. Bitch, I was asleep. <laughs> yeah, you you all are relaxing now, Max. You know, you can finally sit down, take a mm -hmm. sigh of relief. Cards? Uh, he has no cards. <laughs> so unless you brought them with you, then no. I absolutely brought mine, but I am asleep. <laughs> Or you're an alchemist and you make a deck of cards. Actually, yeah, if you had paper, that's all you'd need to do. Ta-da. Look at us go. <laughs> Hair floating in the wind, making cards. I do uh, not have playing cards in my backpack on my sheet, so I will not say that I have any. <laughs> I do. All right, let me just go rummage around through Elijah's bag. That I have on. <laughs> yes. Have it on while you sleep? That's interesting. Yeah, can I go ahead and do a perception check? I'm just going to try and actually do that, then, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not stupid. <laughs> Who do you think I am, <laughs> Ivan? You. Wow. <laughs> I recommend you all get some sleep. 
He goes into his into his room. He shuts the door. Who would be the guy Nobody to put else. bubble gum in your mouth while you sleep? Because he didn't want you to <laughs> choke. So, anything anyone's doing? Uh, I'm just going to get out my sleeping bag and get comfortable. Because Don't we're sleeping on the floor and I have a sleeping bag. <laughs> Tony's shoved into the corner under the window. Yep. No, he sleeps right next to me. He's my, he's my uh, teddy bear. Okay, sure. He gets to consent to this gay shit because he's in here. I'm uh, guessing. I'm guessing the central military has a "don't ask, don't tell" policy. You know, that's never come up in the anime. You want to find out? No. <laughs> no, not really. Um, let me see what I have to work with. Actually. I got my bag of tricks. All right, how about how about this? How about no? <laughs> no. Everybody <laughs> should no. Am I the only one that has a I sleeping got... bag? Probably. I don't I'm gonna take. Know. I don't take my, my jacket. I'm Ivan. I'm wow. sleeping in a tree, and I feel great. <laughs> nope, he said you have to sleep on the floor. I'm going to take my jacket and uh, my backpack. Should be enough enough cloth to try and make a hammock. All right, so I'm going to try and use alchemy to uh, to raise the wood in this spot so that I can tie this to it. <laughs> All right. Now can we check? Well, Max is dead in the morning. <laughs> hey, he's still. <so, laughs> he said we have to sleep there, on buddy. the floor. You know, technically, I'm using nothing but the floor. Uh, he's the alchemy you check. You do alchemy on the floor is wood, right? Yes, it is. The whole place is wood. Floor is lava. You succeed. Nice. All right. I'm going to sleep. That a boy. Max is dangling in a <laughs> in that. Yes. A little makeshift makeshift hammock. Ivan, anything you doing? Um, I don't know. I was trying to think of a way like how I was going to sleep in the room, but honestly, I'm just gonna probably just take my gear and just you know sleep on my gear and then use. My quote, sleep, like, put tuck my arms in. Hang on, cop car. Police, what are those? <laughs> no, sorry, I heard my daughter was just telling me there's something happening down the street. Yeah. Like that, that ghetto shit. Anyway. um, So I'll basically tuck, like, tuck in all my, like, tuck inside all my clothes and kind of just be sleeping that way. All right. Just so like I, I undo a few buttons though, so that way like it's loose. So that way, like if anything happens in the night, I'm not like struggling too hard to like get uh get through my like get through my uh shirt holes and shit. Okay, I'm just gonna set up over here, lay out my sleeping mat or lay out my uh, sleeping bag, and mm -hmm. that's it. All right, night falls. <laughs> then. You were all woken up by a yelling. Mm -hmm. Up and at him, privates! The oh, day oh, has oh, arrived. Sir. Yes, Fuck. sir! We all just drop out of bed. I fall right on Al on Al um, Alsawa. I'll fall right on Al ah, Alsawa. You're nowhere near me. I Somehow I He's fling you towards you. <laughs> you notice uh, your teddy bear is gone, Elijah. Ho oh, oh. ho! Oh, oh. He's in the bathroom getting cleaned up. Oh! <laughs> oh! 
you hear you hear like a, a vomiting sound coming from the bathroom. Sherman says, you, "No, Tony isn't feeling too well." Now, lucky for him, I'm a kind man, so he gets to have the day off and gets to vomit in pi- in peace and solid. I want to vomit in peace. Just kidding. As I think, fall on top of me, I'll punch you in the stomach, and then you can vomit. I said you four. (laughs) You four have a very special task. Remember, you are here to learn under me, and that means that you will continue to get to be woken early and going to bed late. Most of our mornings will begin with a physical training, cleaning, chores, routines. But today, I will conduct you with something different. Sir? We have something special to do. Get dressed, grab your weapons, and follow me. You know, I totally forgot you can't see me salute, and I've been saluting for like the last five fucking minutes. (laughs) <laughs> I'm totally waiting for you that. to interrupt him one more time and he just backhands you across the yep. room. <laughs> oh, that's my bad completely. That's fine. All right, and y'all get ready. All right, I'm gonna do this. We're not gonna check out okay, yeah. Be real tragic if you rolled the double out one right there, huh? <laughs> the one. The whole so you're into his fucking hammock. That would be yeah. the best way to fucking die. Just hey, if you way. fuse into the wood, you could relive Takashi. Ah, there you go. <laughs> I mean, I'm not here to be the same. What happened? Max is ha- It's like, you come outside, what's Ma- What's going on with Max? He's having issues with his morning wood. <laughs> yeah. Zing. So, so you I... all... Oh, what? Nothing. You all begin walking and walking and walking and walking and walking and walking and walking. About an hour goes by of walking before you finally arrive at the entrance to a cave. Here we are. So, any guesses what we're doing today? Mining, sir. We're going on a trip. And our favorite rocket ship, sir. Elijah, that is correct. We are going mining. We're going to be searching these mines for any deeper ore veins. That means the the alchemists among you will be invaluable. And the soldiers, they will, well, focus on defending your your comrades. Now understand, I will not step in to save any of you from any dangers that may lie in here. You are on your own. You're insinuating that there may be combat, sir. Well, I'm insinuating that people have seen bears taking shelter in here, and that old mining caverns such as these are prone to cavens. Understandable. Bottom left corner, guys. Yep. Yep. So... I leave this now to you. I will be observing. Max, you're up first. Well, we're uh, searching the mines for some some ore. Shit! I should have brought a shovel. This (laughs) This is where it starts. Like it's just uh, it's the wall or just some rock. Yep, you see, there's some rock there. As you have walked up, you do reveal some more of this map. I don't have dynamic lighting on for uh, technical reasons because Elijah on his phone is unable to see it. Hey, just gotta call you. me out, man. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Shots fired. Okay. So if you need visual clarification, as some of these things might look not as obvious where the walls are, let me know. 
All right. Next up, Elijah. Hi. Um, 10, 15. Which way do you want to go, Max? Uh, I say we go to the right first. Looks like that's All been right. dug out a decent ways. 35, 10. Oh, here. As you pass by, you see another entrance has opened up. Oh, hey, there's two of them. Hi. Two of them. Ivan. <laughs> Alrighty, so... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 25, and I'll go right here so I can stay kind of like as far as I'm going to go, so that way I can stay uh, between us. Since I did, I remember him saying soldiers protect, so I want to make sure that I can protect my alchemist. All right, El Sawa, guns drawn, of course. Five, <laughs> ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. 35, 40, 45, 50. You can see as you take a little bit closer and you see there are a couple of other branching pathways down there. There's a couple of small pathways down here. Do we want to start in this area or move deeper in? Let's do it straight here. Might as well. Max. All right, Elijah. <clears throat> 30. Walk into this one. I don't see anything in this little. Into what one? You, you have two entries that are directly ahead of you. I don't know if I have 30. Anything in there? See, it branches down. There's another path at the end of it. So long. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll be right. This is a mini maze. Ivan. Everyone's favorite type of D&D &D map. <laughs> Just like that one in there, too. Yeah. Except at least this one, you know, you can make your own shortcuts. And the Naruto one, you is just straight bullshit. <laughs> Not being able to see the walls. Oof. Just get served. Ivan? Oh, is it me? I'm so sorry. Yep. My bad. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. And you know, no, I'm good. I'm gonna. Can I just ready an action in case, like, if anything, I can. I want to try to. Since we're in a cave, I guess if anything starts to fall down, I want to be able to like try to push Elsawa or uh, Max out of the way, since they're the closest. Okay. Right. Elsawa. I'm gonna move to this spot. I still have five feet of movement left. Do I see anything else in that area or that area? You see two more pants two more branches, and as you've gone by, you've also seen creature stir. Oh shit. What is that? Oh shit. Did I happen to see what it was? You saw a big old mass of fur that seemed to be Moving itself out, or moving itself out. So, I'm gonna draw my shotgun, and I'm just gonna lean around the corner. And if it approaches me with what looks like malicious intent, 
Uh, I'm going to shoot it in the face. All hmm. right. Sherman's going to move on up. So he's going to kind of lean his back against the wall watching this. See, the bear is going to start crawling out. You see, it starts going right there without any malicious intent. And you see, it kind of turns and it kind of catches your eye, and you catch its eye. You see, its eyes widen. You see, it snares, it uh, rears its teeth out. You see, it starts to get into an aggressive stance. Oh, shit. That sounds like malicious intent at that point. It's up to your call. Bang or no bang? <laughs> that is bang. Go three. All bang. right. Make the hit check. I've, I, I've, I've got a. Bang, 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 my, I forgot bang, my bang, range bang, hit bang, check is not very bang, good. Bang. It's so close to me. I don't even. Fuck. You go for like the buoy thing and you just miss. Hold. <laughs> That'd be funny. Yeah, probably. Damn it. I had to look for my numbers. Oh, that's it. Is that a crit for me? I don't think so. I don't think the shotguns crit on 19 or 20, do they? I don't remember. They... Boom. Let me Please. see. Do, 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 do. Probably should have this loaded up before I came in here. Shotgun crits on 19 to 20. That's a crit. So, roll your damage and then double it. I don't even remember what the damage is on a shotgun. 2d8. And then plus any modifiers you have. I'm just realizing because I just looked at the pistol. I'm like, how's the pistol 2d6 and the shotgun's only 2d8? <laughs> well, the pistol is, uh, she had his 2d6. Hey, you know, don't question the logic of it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm... At all times. Easy. And it's plus your, uh, since it's range, it's plus your, watching your dexterity. Yep. Watch him. I, I'm having a moment. Just, I'm tired. That's okay. <laughs> That's that. Giving you shit. Twenty-eight damage. So that's dealt a hefty blow into it, but, he, but not enough to take it down, and it goes to swipe at you. Okay. <laughs> but you see it like goes to swipe at you, and it just slams its hand into the wall like it's stuck, and it's, it's trying to like rip its arm out now. <laughs> You also see, you also uh, as you shot the shotgun, you also have all heard the bang echo out through the mines. It's very loud, just bouncing off of wall after wall. And you kind of hear some uh, growls in the distance. Oh, so I know! Oh, yes. God. Max, you're up. I'm just going to yell out, I think I got it. <laughs> well, hearing that, I'm going to go ahead. I'm gonna go suplex the bear. Yeah, kid. <laughs> oh my! If you want to be like a oh. teacher, yeah. Spread in your mic, Nicky. Suplex the whole bear. Spread in your mic. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that wasn't your mic. I'm gonna draw a uh, circle on this wall. Why is he breathing into Mike? <laughs> All right. Draw a circle on the wall. Mouth to mouth. We just be like that. <laughs> Oh, gosh. You whore. First Tony and now Mike. Rip. <laughs> <laughs> and that, unfortunately, it's my turn. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh, you're still not that level where you where it's now a move action? Elijah, you're up. Hi. And then, like, level 10. Let's see. All right. There's a bear over there I don't know about, so, uh... <laughs> Well, you heard uh, the gunshot. Yeah, yeah, that's... You know where that bit is at. You may have also heard me yell, I got this. Did he just shoot a fucking bear? I guess I wouldn't know. Did he just shoot something? Fuck. <laughs> you heard growls, though, as well. You said we heard growls in the distance. 
going up here, Max. If you guys need anything, I'll come back. Uh, take care. <laughs> and? Oops. Another bear. Yeah, that's your vision right there. You get some more vision. You see it's branching off in a couple of spots. El Sawa. Or, sorry, Ivan. Alrighty. Um... Well, I was going to say I was going to run up and slice that bear's head off, but I, I don't want to ruin Osawa's moment. So if he's got it, um, I'll continue. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Let's go, buddy. Got your back. Oh, wait. Oh. oh, this map goes farther than. Oh, I'm an idiot. What? Can I take. Could I take back 10 movement? Sure. I didn't realize. Thank you. Hang on. Going back here, I'm going to go this way. I didn't realize there was. Yeah. I'm going to do it. Still more. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. See, Sherman's just watching you, Osawa. And now it's your turn. Yeah, sure. Um, uh, rack the pump and uh, fire another shot. All right. Uh, 18 to hit, that's it. Takes 12 points of damage. See, it's still going strong. What? <laughs> You're fighting a bear, you dumb bitch. Um, this is a big bear, too. Huh. Can I ready a movement action that if it swings at me, I try to jump back away from it? Uh, how, how shall I do this? I've allowed this in the past. Yes, I will allow this. The attempt. So, that's his turn. So I'm going to try to go like dive like that way. Okay. So, first thing he's going to do, he immediately takes that swipe. Is that a hit to your AC? That is not. That is not. So, it's just a flat-out miss. Yes. And so, that is that. Max. Okay. So. We'll go about right here. Just confirming that growl sound. That's uh, 15 feet. All right. You can see the bear uh, poking out. Hmm. I know what I'm doing yeah. next turn. I have a okay. really easy solution to this. Uh, uh, you, we might be on very similar you know, my, like tracks of thought here. Uh, I I'm think gonna... we are. <laughs> I'm just eyeballing this. This is about 15 feet. I'm just like uh, measuring, so let me just roll a perception check. This to if it kicks. Am I seeing this right? Let's dive out. Bought the yardstick. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, so what are you looking see. for? I'm just eyeballing the distance between here and there. Yeah, you can clearly that see that from directly in front of you, it is 20 feet. Okay. For me to from, uh, from, from directly in front of you to the wall is 20 feet. Tell Sawa is 15. Back. So once once more this time, I'll cast Recircle. Are you able to do that as a move action? No. There's an attack action? No, no. Bring that for next turn. Okay. Elisha. Well, that ain't none of my problem because they said that he had this. So, la da da da. <laughs> 15, 20, 25. You saw there was another branching path on this side as you walked by. And as you look down here, you see multiple other branching paths. Fuck. Man's gonna run into three bears. Let's see. God. 30, 5, 10. I know people whose Minecraft minds look like this. 
<laughs> and I hate those people. Are you out of open, Elisha? He is a... All right. Ivan. Ivan? Oh, you're moving. Can't hear you if you're talking. I didn't realize I was muted. Shit. Um, okay. I've always been calling my name, so 15... The rocks speak to you? Five. Yes, because I'm Ivan. You expect anything less from this man? Exactly. I, I, down ex- that so I, I cannot down expect that anything less from him. Exactly. Uh, you see there's a little <laughs> branching path at the very end of this hallway. All right. I, t- I still have my gun out. Uh, just, you know, prepared. Okay, so you still have, you could convert your attack action to a movement action and move another 30 feet, or if you're you know just trying to stay readied. Nope, I'm fine with that. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get a little closer. I'm All okay right. with that. Asawa. So, I'm guessing I'm going to have to make this an attack action. Or I'm going to have to, it's an alchemy attack action because anytime it is targeting an individual, even if it's not doing damage, you would be doing a, it would be using an attack action, correct? On almost every scenario. Okay. Well, I'm going to swift action change to my spear. And I am going to poke my spear into the wall next to me, which would be right there. I'm going to attempt to bind the bear. Uh Okay. (laughs) <laughs> so that I'm basically encasing him in stone and pretty much limit him to the only thing he can do is open his mouth. Okay. Oh my And I God. do have stone as an alchemic sp- alchemy specialty. All right. So as you were doing something special, you will still have to roll a check. However, it will not be uh, as difficult. Okay. And that will be an alchemy... Will that just be an alchemy attack check, or would that be a regular skill alchemy check. skill check? Oh, skill check. Okay, hang on. Yep. Let me add a one to this. All right, you are able to succeed in performing the alchemy. Um, so now make the hit check. So now it's an alchemy hit check. Yep. Okay. No agile is this beer. Let's find out. Let's hope not much. The question. Not that. All right. So now it needs to roll. Oh, no, that's a hit check. That's against the AC. That's a success. Let's see. Uh, okay, so now it does get a reflex save to immediately break free, which essentially needs an add 20. Uh, it does not. You completely oh seal this bear in. And it's just going... Rrr, rrr. But it's 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 still roaring and its jaw is still opening, correct? Yep. I'd like to make a special request. Uh-huh. Switch to my shotgun, and when it roars, I want to stick the barrel in its mouth, shooting it in the head and coup de gras. On your next oh, turn? Fine. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, I didn't know if I could get away with it since I technically had a move action. I didn't know if I'd allow <laughs> to use that for a coup de gras. That's <laughs> on, on your next turn, I'll allow this attempt to be made. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then that will be everything at this time. Actually, I will ready that move action to jump back if it happens to break th- free. Okay. So then yeah. that way I am I end my turn. Okay. Before you end your turn, roll a perception check. Ah, fuck. Uh, Here comes the cups. Ooh, more meat. Oh my fuck. <laughs> Circle of life, man. Give me one of the cups. I want to raise. It. I want to raise them. Oh my god! All right. If there are cubs and I can keep one alive, you can have it. Yeah. You see the bears trying to move. Still, you can see like the little bits and pieces trying to nudge, but it's not making any progress. Yeah. All right, Max. I also realized I have the same. It's all. It is only slightly stronger than me. <laughs> I could t- I could make this higher for what it technically could be. Yeah, I know. All right. Well, uh, since I can see he's been in case and so, I'll just 
ready in action to uh to use some alcastry to uh to pretty much put a wall up. All right. Elijah. Yo. Yeah. Da, 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 da. These I want to fight dead end. Bear. Damn. Can we say that <laughs> I just moved from here to here? Because yeah, I'll allow that. Thank you. Is this there anything up here? No, you see, those are also dead ends. Ten, fifteen, twenty. Thirty. Going up here. Uh, no. And you see, there's a path now directly up ahead of you, and you also see, as you've yelled out, you can hear your voices echoed, and you see there is now a bear looking at you. Oh, that's a bear. <laughs> how much? How much movement do I have left? Uh, I don't know. You tell us. <laughs> uh, ten feet. <laughs> Bye. Ten. Skip me corners. Fuck you. Ivan. Ivan. Sorry, my phone disconnected. That's, I'm completely sorry about that. All good. Uh, okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is 5, 10, turn that corner. What do I see? You see... Oh, shit. A long hallway that you can't see all the way to the end of, and then another branching path. Oh. Hey, I found a hole! I'm going to yell, hey! Hallway! Oh, down! It echoes. Hallway. Hallway. Oh, boy, does it echo. <laughs> <laughs> you going to continue your movement, or...? Yeah, and then can I do that same thing where I, uh, my, yep. act? okay. Anything right there? You see that? You see all the way down this hallway? You see a little corner there. Mother, all right. Cool. So, let's go. So you can see it's branched over to another path on the side wait, here. We're supposed to be, wait, we're supposed to be mining right here? Well, you're supposed to be looking for uh, another vein. Whether or not okay. that means you'll actually have to be mining, technically you don't know. I'm about to start like a like. I mean, if you're gonna start mining, I'm about to find a good spot and just start attacking with my weapon. I need a good place to train anyway. I might want to acquire a pickaxe first. And, as, a, um, as a rule of thumb, a sword against a wall typically not the strongest thing. Wait, you could just have oh. Max uh, use alchemy and turn your arm into a pickaxe. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know. You're not wrong, but at the same time, I don't think <laughs> much can get done with my arm right now, so no one's touching my arm. That sounds like an incredibly inefficient pickaxe. Yeah. King, 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 king. But, no, actually, if he had two auto male arms, he could turn them both into pickaxes. It looked like that scene from uh, Ants where the big guy grabs two pickaxes and just starts going to town. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like thinking realistically about it. I don't think that's going to do much. <laughs> anyway, that's it for you, Ivan. Yes, sir. All right, Alsawa. You know what I want to attempt to do. Yep. The bear's roll immobilized. Yep, Just roll, roll a flat d20. d20. I've got to make my way over there. Oh, God. You, you see it continues to roar. You put the gun in its mouth. And you pull the trigger. <laughs> And it is yeah. dead. You animal. When your blood you rebounds off the back also kind of hits you. Right in the face, that blood splatter. <laughs> Lick it off my lips and smile. No, I'm kidding. At that moment, <laughs> he knew he was a psychopath. I was going to say it. <laughs> you I'm going to look up at me. Max. So what were you going to do? I was just going to wall it off. And we just keep going. We don't know what's in there. We want to explore, don't we? Uh, it's your thing. I'm going to clear this. I'm, since this spot I know is clear, I'm going to go check in there first. By all means. 
Now that area is the bear walled up enough that I cannot squeeze past the body. In uh, yes, the bear covers pretty much the whole thing. So for you to seal them out required to cover the whole thing. So you're going to have to take the time to unseal it. Okay, and would an, a, a straight alchemy check to undo that, would that still be an attack action? Or since I'm just dropping stone and I have proficiency with stone, could I do it as a move action? Okay, some slack allow for move action. Typically it would be an attack, but I'll keep the slack. I'm going to use my move action to dissolve the stone in this area, just down to rubble. And see the body just drops down as you remove the stone. Hmm. That's harsh. That's we'll have to keep there. a look to Max. We'll have to take this up to the entrance then. This could be good dinner. Yeah, we can backtrack. I get done checking in this area. I'm going to carry it out with me. <laughs> that's why I'm I shot it in the face. So. That's why I shot it in the face. That's less me. That's <laughs> less buckshot. That's less buckshot I got to dig out of the body before we eat it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now it's the bear's turn. <laughs> you hear a stomping coming towards you, Elijah. Oh, well, fuck. Oh, yeah, I forgot I there's another it. bear. You also hear another stomping coming towards you, Elijah. Yep, that's another bear. I knew I should have stayed. But they are not in range of you at the moment. Or they got in range, but they aren't able to attack you, as they've converted both their actions. Ivan, you also hear some stomping. Oh, yes. I've been Ooh, and that one was close enough to attack you still. So this one's going to get the hit off. Wait, yep. me or him? You, Ivan. Oh, what the fuck? It's 25 ahead. Ooh. Yes, I, be I believe. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's a fucking. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll, it I'll, swipes its claw at you for 15 damage. All right, sounds like a deal. Oh, cool. Um. All right. Bring it. I work. Bye, Ivan. <laughs> Max, bye. you're up. Bye. What do you mean, bye, Ivan? Ivan's been. Boy, please. Watch this. <laughs> Ivan, am I right? <laughs> Same joke there, Nick. Yes, sir. Well, as right, I Max, some more. Nick, Nick, prepare for as trouble of... and make it double. Because I've heard <laughs> more. <laughs> More roars. I'll uh, start heading in this direction. You see Elijah with a bear being face down. He's just looking back like, ah! <laughs> Help! <laughs> Help! All right. Bear. Do I do I hear another bear? That's a question. Bear. Does anybody have the walkies on me? Yeah, roll perception. Everybody have their walkies on there? You know oh, that you boy. have also heard another growling coming from this direction. Get your ass over here. That also sounds like it's coming <laughs> a little bit from that direction, but you know. Well. You want to see Ivan do some dumb shit. That's everything. Fuck you. Tell me I'm wrong. You ain't wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna my turn here. Elijah. Alrighty. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to I'm gonna try and uh, uh cut this thing off. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna look do I hear uh Max running by Uh yes. Yes you do. I'm going to cut one off, and then we can kite the other one. And then I'm going to uh, use the stone from this wall, and I'm going to make a, a, as thick of a wall as possible. I'm going to pull a Zach. To divide right them off? Yeah. Okay. This is my tag action. All right. Is that my attack action? Yes. All right. Then I'm going to go ahead and five, ten. So we'll take an attack of opportunity. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Ooh, that's a miss. That's a miss. All right. Is that it for you? 
Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have my gun out, go ahead and train it on on here, even though I can't do any shit. All right, Ivan. All right, all right, all right, boys. Ivan's looking right at. Ivan's looking right at danger. So, three, uh, two swords and so, uh, kind of knife in my mouth. Going for the good old fashioned. See if I can slice this bear up. You want to see dinner? God damn it. Advanced dice rolling. And then. I can see that for it. So there's the first one. Second one will be. And third one. My God, you hit him with all three. Let's <laughs> go! Three sword style! Ivan style! Three sword! Alright, swipe at him with one, then the second, then the one in your mouth. Roll for damage. Oh, shit. Hang on. How much does the swords do again? I can't fucking... Depends oh, on what kind of sword, sword it is. Yeah. They were just the... Uh... Combat knife and the uh, two, like they were like, what kind? Of, what what sword do we call them? They were like, well, there's a long, long sword. There's a short, 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 short sword. I had a I combat knife swords. and two short swords. Yeah, that is a one d six for the short swords and for the knife a one d four. So one d eight plus your modifiers plus any other bonus damage you might have. Eight. Got that. I got that. No. Uh, um. Sorry. And that's, that's the first one. Oh, there's. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a D6 for the short sword you said, right? Or the, the, not the, oh, that was the uh, sword right there. And the second one. Damn it, man. I was screwing up. Oh, my flippity flop, man. I put it in the wrong spot. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I'm really messing up today. No problemo. Or are we rolling 1d6s for those? Oh, see, that's where I messed See, that's where I got confused. That's why. Okay. Okay. There we I'm go. Back. Welcome back. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I had to go down. Right. I had I had to go downstairs. Ariel's destroying the upstairs bathroom. GG. <laughs> and then the one d four. Yep, I got you for your one d four. Sorry, bro. That just took me <laughs> off guard. I was like, "Damn, what?" Like, <laughs> it was just. Oh, okay. All right, you've done some hefty cuts to it, but it is still going strong. Oh my god! Fuck you, bear. You. All right, <sighs> El Sawa. Hmm. I'm going to yell up the thing. Does anybody need help? There's two on us. There's another one to the east. I got one that won't go down with three swords. On my way. I have a question. If I drag this bear behind me for the first half, would I take a movement penalty? Yeah, you'd be at half your speed. <laughs> Fuck. Worry about That's Ivan more. He's alone. Still so, back, man. <laughs> 5, <laughs> 10, 15, 20. I'm going to look over at Sherman and be like, I believe I know the answer to this question already, but I'm going to ask it. Since I know you do not intend to step in to help us, any <laughs> chance you want to drag that bear to the entrance? We could take it for dinner. You're going to ask an old, frail man like me to drag a bear? I'm sorry, son. I just can't do that. I figured I knew the answer, but I didn't think it would hurt to ask. Take your bear to the entrance, Ivan. I'll be. Or, uh, uh, I'll, wow, I called you Ivan. Uh, I'll, follow, I'll take care of it. Don't worry. Go to the 10, entrance. 15, take your 20, bear. 25, and that's my movement. See, Sherman's now looking up at your hallway, Max and Elijah. 
And I'm just smirking when Sherman says that because I know he can kick all of our asses. He's not for <laughs> The bear is going to run up and attack you, Elijah. Okay. 19? Uh, that's a miss. All right. I'm just going to yell out, I'm coming, Ivan. Gary! <laughs> ah! Oh my god. Ivan said, uh, um, fucking Eli says that as he dodges. He's like, that's really gay. <laughs> All right, now the bear's As attacking I Ivan. Back, like, says says you that double hits. teaming a bear with Max. Said so that's a miss. No, that hits. Really? It just hits. Yeah. Damn, I thought I thought yours was higher than that. All right, fifteen damage. Good, Good job, Squiggle. AC doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, minus fifteen. Yeah, proof true for him. It really never made a difference. All right. Uh, hey, medic, come heal me, bitch. I'll fight the bear. You just heal me. All right, Max. Did you just called me a bitch. No, I would never. Maybe I could should take please? that bear back to the entrance. Please, could you get your <laughs> big ass over here, motherfucker? <laughs> so now my ass is big, and I'm a motherfucker. I can't win with you. Just coming to me! Uh, <laughs> Damn it. He doesn't even say please. Please! I was just going to say, Sherman yells out, Magic words, please! <laughs> please. Everybody here. I just want everybody to know that, except for you, Mike. I love you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, That's if awesome. one of us hadn't decided to go off on his own... GG. <laughs> I'm, I'll when... spin my turn. <laughs> Good. As I said, when does the party ever suffer from splitting up in D and D? Exactly. All of us are Silas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll spin my turn drawing a uh, in an alchemy circle. Oh my alchemy. god, Mike! You need to put an alchemy circle on something. I have two. <laughs> I have three. Like, look, look, guys. I've, I've got one on my spear of of the of the principles of, from the original show. Yeah. <laughs> I can respect that. Once you're able to make them quicker, that's going to make a big difference. <laughs> yeah, for real. At least, like, just one action instead of. And when you right. attempt human transmutation, you can do them even quicker. That's right. Well, we'll get the, get the clack. next one to a beat. I'm gonna go ahead and draw my, uh, my, my spear, which is the. Uh, uh, the fucking pointy sticky thingy, and then I'm fucking. <laughs> I'm going to hold it in my left hand, which is the left hand is the one with the with the um with my own personal personalized symbol, and I'm going to go ahead and I stab at it. But first, I'm gonna roll an alchemy check. <laughs> All right, to try and bolster your weapon with electricity. Yes, uh, yes uh. Is and it a wooden spear so with a metal tip? A fucking... That's going to be a... Uh, yeah. That's going to be Time a for you. No. <laughs> That's a fail. That is a failure. Didn't want to yep. take the chance on that it's roll weird. 20, did you? It's weird. Nope. I'm going to go clutch. and make this hit, though. I'm going to yeah. channel lightning through my wooden spear. That's it? Oh, yeah. I have no idea what a spear is made out of. I've never asked. But we'll go with metal. Alrighty then. Just ten. Ten damage. See, so you've done a little bit to it. Ivan. Oh man. Oh what? Just saying in character. Oh fuck! My alchemy didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> and that attack. Okay, it wasn't once per encounter, right? It was, it was like. Yeah, you can do it as many times as you want. It just takes the full round action to do it. Oh, it's getting it. It's getting it good. That's a hit. That's a hit. Hi, right, Max. That's a mess. All right. So two D sixes. Yeah. Two D sixes plus your modifiers. Six damage. Six damage. Or sorry, six damage, nine damage. Six, nine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bear still seems like it's going a bit strong, though. 
Oh my God. I'm, I, oh, I'm making a hide out of this bear. He's going to be my hide. Did you, notice, did you notice how much health mine had? Yeah, you've done roughly the same amount of damage that I'll saw what did to his so far. Oh, let's go. I'm making this a hide. This hide's become my new jacket. I'll become king of the animals, king of the beast. Yeah, wear that hide, walk up to the other bears, and see what happens. <laughs> Grr. I will. All right, Osawa, you're up. I'm at least big enough to be intimidating. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Shit. I have just enough range to get there, but I can't do anything else. No, you can't. You can believe. In the heart of the cards? Yeah. I'll show you the way. Huh. What's your thing, pal? What? Yes! I have a question. What kind of cover would that bear be considered to be in? Or do I just not have line of sight on it at all? Uh, I'd say he doesn't have cover. Even the token, like, it looks like he'd be covered. You know, he's, like, swiping with Ivan. So he's, he's, like, constantly poking himself out, extending himself into the reach. So I'd say you'd be able to hit him. I'm gonna draw the 9mm pistol. Don't you fucking... You better use a spirit dive. You shoot me, motherfucker. No nat one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm all out of spirit die. You don't have any angle on that bear, though. <laughs> <laughs> I said he does. But like the bear's reaching out as it's full swiping with him and not going to allow it. Yeah, I got clarification. And. God damn it. With, with like Beasts of the Wild, I'm a lot more lenient with uh, their mannerisms. It's a man, baby. With human, you know. Human smart. Ooh. That is just barely a miss. Damn it. Shoots right in between the bear and Ivan. You see, they both just like look at you. <laughs> bro, what the fuck? Who bro? is that for? <laughs> it's startled. Use that to your advantage. Ivan style? Idiocy! Not wrong. It, it works. I'm winning. Until you take another 15 points of damage. Speaking of which, I can, bear's turn. I can take two more. Damn it. Bear's turn. Let's see. Elijah, you stepped into it. It's going to keep going for you. Guessing that one's it. Uh, I'm going to go in uh, alchemic defense. So I'm going to make yep. a uh, reflex. Yep, make that reflex save. 17. What level's the bear? 20. The bear is <laughs> DC is 5 plus the attacker's level. Yeah, you are going to succeed that then. It is a level 8 bear. Okay. Alrighty. That's a DC 13, so you have passed. So you may now attempt a quick alchemy check on an adjacent material, assuming you have a transmutation circle, which you do. Yes. Yep. So, alchemy skill check. That makes I sense. forgot how that worked. So that succeeds. You see you place your hand like on the wall and the stone pops out. You see the bear swipes it down immediately breaking that stone apart but protecting you from the attack. Yes, sir. First one to successfully use that, by the way. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> now the other <laughs> one's going to attack exactly. Ivan. 17, is that hit on you, Ivan? That's a miss, right? That's a miss. Max. All right. Well, this may be a bit reckless, but so that you would say this this bear's attention is focused on uh on Elijah, yes. on Elijah right now, right? Okay. Uh, what I'm gonna try to do, and uh, I guess Brad I need to clarify. <laughs> You're not far off. Grapple. So, so if I were to jump on this bear's back and try and stab this kunai into its eye. And then perform an alchemy check. Um, that will require two turns. Yes. 
Okay, so basically, you also need to have the alchemy circle in range of you when you do the alchemy check. So you'd have to hop off the bear as well. No, I drew it on the kunai. Oh, on the kunai, okay. Yeah. Yes, that would be two attacks. Okay, so so basically, what I'm going to do is try and jump on this bear and still, like, for like, pretty much from behind and stab it in the eye with this kunai, which obviously is going to enrage this bear. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we're we're gonna see how this goes. If I survive to the second turn, then I'm gonna use an alchemy check on this kunai to try to pretty much try and um, change the shape of the kunai to basically expand out into its brain to try and instantly kill it. Okay. Uh, start off with an acrobatics check, trying to climb onto the bear. Uh, pray for me, yo. <laughs> I pray for my boy. You have successfully climbed on top of the bear. You can see you are very close to the ceiling that is above you, but you have enough uh, reach and grip to be on there. Yeah. Call that making a red move. Get it, boy. Get it. Ride that bear. Yeah, boy. He is red. <laughs> and then I'm gonna just pretty much try and stab this into its eye. I just right, realized so the, the colors of my check. lines is the color of my skin. <laughs> <laughs> GG. Spirit Unfortunately, die. it is... Oh, Spirit Die? Okay. Uh, that <laughs> is a success. Risky. You know, waste of Spirit Die on that? So, roll for uh, damage. I don't think you realize how risky this is. <laughs> <laughs> Have you damage. ever watched Mike play D&D? A good point. <laughs> what is this? A D four? Yeah, it's yep. a D four. Yeah. D D four plus I damn. All right, you've only done a little bit of damage to it. However, you can see Elijah; it is now thrashing about with a kunai in its eye. Yeah, pretty much. I'm just gonna hold it there because I have to hold this to actually <laughs> use the alchemy check next turn. Yep. No, well, I lie, whenever I hit this thing, it's gonna suck for you, dude. You really shouldn't have done that. And I still have my sword, my rapier, in my uh, left hand, so I'm gonna channel some fucking lightning. Alchemy skill check. Still gonna use That's a fail. That's a fail. I am rolling so bad on my alchemy checks today. That's okay. Yours is tough. So this is still the hit check. <sighs> oh, uh, that's hit. it. Eleven damage. You see, he he's on Max has only seen you reliably use that electric alchemy like twice, so he he does he wasn't worried at all. <laughs> kind of like <laughs> kind of like the bear that's facing Ivan. Uh, <laughs> oh, you don't know how hard my alchemy is, man. It's a DC thirty five for that bullshit. <laughs> that was your decision, Ivan. Fuck you. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm ready. You know what's happening. Yeah, that's a hit. Hmm. That's a miss. That was a hiss, I believe. Oh my! That's God. also a miss. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm glad I wasn't it's... adjacent. <laughs> so roll that first that. damage. Oh my God. Ooh, that's a nat one with the mouth sword. Yeah. Then we're going to roll the damage first, then we're going to get to that one. Oh, my sweet Jesus. All right. <laughs> roll another 1d20 there, Ivan. I can do that. I can do that. Nat 20. Damn it. All right. Nothing special. It's just a flat miss. Oh, so. Okay. I have just enough movement to get up. I'm going to only move up to the 20 feet. I don't want to be directly adjacent. So here's what I'm going to do. I want to actually do something similar to what uh, Max and Elijah did. <laughs> Excuse me. I want to draw my spear, stab it into the ground here, 
and I want to raise a wall between Ivan and the bear. I want to make the wall as thick as possible, about the width of the actual tunnel, but a, a maybe like a little bit shorter. I'll However, the, sh- sh- shut up, Max. You're gonna shut up, Ivan. You're gonna die okay. next if you if I don't do something. <laughs> But what I want to do is when I raise it up, I want the bottom of the wall to be angled like this so that it comes up at an angle that once I finish forming it, it's literally just going to fall right on top of the bear. Okay. So it's... I'm not making a perfect slab. I'm put, making a slab with a notch cut out of the bottom of it from the formation. I'm not sure if that makes it very complex or not. No, I think that's still a simple, simple construction. So you can just roll the alchemy hit check on that one. Now would that be that's hitting the bit? Ba- that's thing. Would that be an alchemy hit check or just an alchemy check? Because I'm not because the if thing's going to be falling on it, so it's almost going to be like an AOE. This is true. Or would it be getting like a reflex save to try to jump back before the wall falls on it? I, I have something that's going to happen. Roll the hit check. Okay. Oh, that thing I just read his mind. Yeah. Let me see if I'm right. Ooh, that you is know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn a spirit die. That Let's is a, a success. So you do that. It goes to fall on it. Uh, you can just roll standard alchemy damage. Um, Stones a d6. So just one d6. Yep, unless you have something that boosts it. I don't know if I do. Uh, Did you grab Dense? Like... No. Yeah, if you have Dense out to me, then that would increase your damage. I don't... <sighs> Straight 1d6. What did I... No, I got Simple Alchemy. Which yeah, I forget what that does. I think... Yeah. <laughs> okay, so just straight 1d6. Yeah, 1d6 plus your int mod plus any other modifiers. Plus my intelligence modifier? Yep. yep. Good roll. Proud of you. <laughs> Solid <laughs> rolling a plus there, Max. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it takes eight damage. I see, it's now like trying to push off that wall from it. I see, Sherman's not going to walk away, go observe the other fight. I'm sorry, I just dropped the, the fucking wall on it. It took eight points of damage. <coughs> so, so the metagame of what was going to happen if the hit check was a fail is that it was going to be a little bit too close to it, and there was just gonna like kind of nudge it and it was gonna fall on Ivan instead. Oh, I would yeah, be okay exactly with that. What I was thinking, dude. I was like, <laughs> gonna push it back. I, was like, <laughs> I, I knew that's what you were gonna do with it. I'm just like I'm like, if I'm gonna drop a wall on the damn thing, I thought it'd take a little more damage. <laughs> Because it's not like I threw a rock at it. I I literally dropped a fucking slab on it. Yeah, yeah but it's still just like at an angle, so it's just like slowly tilting down as well. If it was like from the roof, that made more sense. Yeah, I'm gonna let it go. Continue. <laughs> Beyond that, just rules of the game mechanics. I know. I'm just, just gonna say, I'm like, go, go have a go have a concrete slab fall on you, a domino effect, and tell me how many points of damage you take. Uh, this isn't concrete. It's stone. Yeah, it's stone. Stone's lighter. You're still gonna be fucking dead. <laughs> uh, it's like a slap. If it's slowly you're falling down, down, you can push up against it. I'm gonna keep. Yeah, I'm gonna yell at that bear. What are you doing? Do we want to calculate how much the weight of that slab is? If you want to, sure. Go ahead. In the end, it's still just going to take a step back and then go step on top of it. Now, how how Oops. how thick did how thick was I able to make the slab? I uh, just imagine Mother, the whole square. Uh, so, I mean, like, thickness-wise, like, if it's a domino falling over, like, how thick's the domino? Uh, the foot. Six inches. And how, foot. how high is the ceiling? Uh, okay, this doesn't matter. Can we please move on? I just want to calculate it from my own knowledge. No. Uh, the, the ceiling's about seven feet, so you would have made it to where it would still be able to go down, you know, five, six feet. Hey, I did say it's as high as my IQ, and Connor said seven feet. <laughs> 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 All right, so that bear's now going to attack you again there, Ivan. That's a miss. Uh, the other one is going to attack you. Let's go, let's go. It's going to try and throw Max off now. So it's going to try and like start slamming its body into the wall. Yeah. 
Uh, so that's going to be a hit check, and then you also will roll a reflex save here. All right. Yes, I'm calculating this just because I'm curious. By that's fine. You be Gorian. That wall still. I just up, can't right, imagine. Connor? You know, I don't know how how heavy stone is, but like still slowly tilting stone. I just can't imagine it's too heavy. That wall's still up, right? Heck no. No, no, it stepped out of the way. Oh, okay. It stepped out of the way. Let it slam into the ground. Five feet wide. Just want to make sure. All right. So you are going to take 11 damage, Max, but you are able to maintain your grip on it. All right. That's the more important thing here. Yeah, see, it's like slammed. It's, it's tossed its body and then slammed you into a wall. Get it, buddy. Get it. All right, Max, <laughs> you're now up. All right. So I'm pretty much going to use... Uh, uh, alchemy to try and, and pretty much meter you know, point you know, like, I'm basically gonna try and like make it expand to like spread out into its brain, kind of like a like multiple knives like at the end of it to spread out. All right, so roll the alchemy skill check. That is the skill check. All right. You succeed. You hear a weird gushing sound as the alchemy is performed. You see it just drops in front of you. Oh, my God. All right. I'm just like, yank that out. You're a bear killer now, huh? Because I'm going to use that. Weird bear, bear killers. Don't worry, we got another one coming. <laughs> uh, bear trap. Okay, let's just try to get that one. Nah, not quite bear trap. We'll leave. How about you leave one of your uh, one of your weird alchemy bullshit things? Up? <laughs> um, the dead that slab would have weighed right in around five thousand pounds. Yeah, it would have died, bitch. <laughs> Low ball <laughs> forty. Right. Uh, average yeah. density that doesn't sound of, right at all. Average density of stone, common generic stone, has a weight of two thousand five hundred and fifteen mm-hmm. kilograms per cubic meter. Meter, or in the U.S. system, is one hundred and fifty-seven pounds per cubic foot. That thing was one foot thick, five foot wide, six feet tall. That's thirty cubic feet. Thirty cubic feet times one hundred and fifty-seven pounds comes out to forty-seven hundred pounds. So well, just was, shy of five thousand pounds. What's the base weight you're talking about? Because that's not. That, there's no way that can be right. That can't be over a ton. Base weight, the average density of stone is 157 pounds per cubic foot. And that wall well, I what made. What kind of stone is that? We didn't specify, so I went with the with stone common generic. I can use a specific type of stone if you'd like me to reference a specific type. I'd be like what you'd see in uh, a mine like this. Something more would be more like granite. Okay, I get the density of granite. Good lord. Hey, but yes, audience, strong, this huh? mattered. <laughs> um, density of granite's actually no. higher. Uh, 2,700 kilograms per cubic meter. That still meter. can't be right, then. That, that calculation just has to be off. Density of granite, 2,691 kilograms per cubic meter. 30 cubic feet equates to 0.87 cubic meters. And 0.87 times 2,700 would be about 2,400. And then 2,400 kilograms, 1 kilograms, 2.2 pounds, that would be over 5,000 pounds. That's not right. There's something about that. I'm not, I'm not even late. I need to see that on paper. Because that's not right. That should not be over... At the very most, I could imagine a few hundred pounds. You know how big an atlas stone is, right? They're only no. about like two, two and a half feet across. I, I don't know what an atlas stone is now. They're the big stones that a lot, like the weight let the strong men and stuff use for competitions. An atlas uh, stone's sure. like, an atlas stone's about 30 inches around sphere, and it's almost 400 pounds. Is an atlas stone specifically made to be dense? Nope. 
it's just specific size and weight. I don't know what they use for it, Atlas Stone, but it's a specific weight, generally in and around that. And granite's heavier than average generic stone. Uh, maybe my maybe my estimation of stone is just wrong. I still just can't imagine a, a stone slab like that being that big. A foot is also more than what I imagine what what it should have been. I, I should have gone less than that. Yeah, Even if you be. think about not counting the water, think about how big an eighty pound bag of concrete is. Eighty pound bag of concrete mix is not that big. That's eighty pounds. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, no no one's accounting oh, for concrete. the size and the, and the strength of the bear here. You know, very, you know, it's pretty, pretty big and strong. <laughs> What's the density of concrete compared to? <laughs> Plus, well, uh, that weight is also. No, no, I see what I'm. I see what I'm thinking. I see where my my logic's going. That's different than that. That is the weight of it coming directly on top of you. This is at a tilted angle. This is it sliding down. Right. That that doesn't have that that estimation for it. So, like the fullest no. estimation for you to be able to push back against it. That's where my mind's thinking. That's where my mind's getting mixed up in that. Oh, I understand that. I'm saying if you have a door in front of you that weighs five thousand pounds and it starts slowly falling on top of you, what are you and I doing to stop that? I mean, it depends on how slow it's falling. If it's slowly it falling, would... you can just put up a little bit of pressure, and that would probably be able to stabilize it. Depends on how quick it's falling and all that. And how quick, and also this one, I have it pitched at the bottom, so there's actually more gravity pushing it down. If it was just a flat one leaning over, this one's actually pitched kind of like how they cut uh, trees so that they fall a certain angle. I pitched the bottom of it specifically so it has to fall and produce extra weight, making it harder to push back. Yeah, but I, all, all I'll say is, uh, yeah. <laughs> Is like it's, so we haven't used like real science here. Yeah, to, I, I mean, to a degree, because I, I question many things that have. Occurred. This is not the first time I've done this. I know we've done other calculations on before. Yeah, but uh... and this will take the same path as that one does. That's <laughs> all I've been doing. I've I've done my best to not question any science magic that has transpired. <laughs> so I will not all question right. this. Anyway, Elijah, you're up. <laughs> wow. You know, half an hour later, okay, fuck. We all learned something. Stone is incredibly heavy. 10, 15. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to look to Max, and, um, can I ready my action? Uh, yeah. As soon as he, um, as soon as he has stepped, uh, placed his bear trap or whatever the fuck, you know, the Alka history bullshit thing in my bobber that he has, do me fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna touch this wall and um, take back the uh, the fucking uh, the alchemy that I use. I'm gonna split it apart. Just okay. drop the wall on the bear. GG. I don't know if it's there yet, so I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> <laughs> Ivan, you're up. Hey, dare I even ask? Until this bear goes down. Or so you go down. Either or. <laughs> That's a hit. That's a hit. That's a miss. Red, Red style. All right, so. Eleven damage. Still up. Oh my fucking. Uh, it's bear, man, it's tanky. That's not what you're up. Oh, I can't wait to have this hide. I'm telling you, I'm getting this hide. Um, Increase my AC. Let's go. Okay. Oh wait, wait. Can I move? I can still move, right? No, that's a four-round action. Oh, never mind. You're good. You make an alchemy check and touch the ground and have like some pillars out of the ground come up from underneath the bear and use that piece that I dropped and just sandwich it against the ceiling. Yeah. I'm going to do that. What oh am I rolling? Uh, that's still pretty... Really, uh, roll a skill check. Roll a skill check. Yo, okay. Transmutate this uh, live bear 
into it's a good. cult that's still alive. <laughs> oh, okay. 20, I better succeed. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right, here's the hit check. And are you trying to pin it there, or are you trying to just uh, slam it and come back down? I'm trying to pin it, crush it, and keep it there. All right. Crush uh-huh. it, immobilize it. If it doesn't so, die, you get an easy hit on it, because it should be immobilized at that point. Go ahead and roll the damage. Standard stone. Yep. Thank God I have a good high intelligence. <laughs> He's going to roll a reflex save to try and help free itself. Uh, its legs are still pinned in, but its front body is still... like It's been able to pull itself forward in the middle of the attack to not be entirely crushed. Wait, it's still alive? Yes. Dude, this is one tanky fucking... So you are... You can you have gotten to a point where it is being held up in there, and definitely it has taken some damage, but the front part of its body is still just flailing at Ivan angrily. <clears throat> I would imagine it uh, probably has disadvantage... It probably get advantage on hit checks on it. <clears throat> uh, maybe. But this isn't 5-8. Uh, this is Connor. <laughs> this is... We don't, where we're going, we don't need logic. <clears throat> Uh, red style. This is magic. That's the only logic you need. There's no such yeah. thing as magic. This is alchemy. Yeah, There's this science. Is magical science. There is science. <laughs> That's all there is. And oh, then wait, when Max soldier. stabbed that bear in the eye, he blinded there it with science. That finally succeeded. I sure did. <laughs> <laughs> well, I should. <laughs> you see something. <laughs> uh oh. You see that wall suddenly breaks away as a claw comes through. Oh, oh, yeah. And you see it is finally broken through. Should have dropped the wall, Elijah. It steps forward and growls at you, Elijah, but it already made its attack, so. All right, I'll give you the disadvantage. Is 18 a hit on you, Ivan? All right. Max, you're up. AC at 20. Sorry. (laughs) You're welcome, Ivan. Oh, my goodness. Thanks, buddy. Someone's got to protect your ass, and usually it's Max. I know, right? Thanks, buddy. We're We're becoming friends. Uh, well, I'm not breaking any of your butt buddies out of jail. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you don't know about that, you fucking. Meta- You're right. That was a meta. Game. That was a meta game comment. I don't know about that. <laughs> don't you ever never a game. We are the game. <laughs> we are the game. <laughs> what the hell? So, What's Wildermyth? I just lost the game. game. Zach's playing it right now. It's like a story adventure game kind of a thing. It keeps popping up on my Steam thing. Yeah. I enjoy it. Pretty fun. He's playing yeah. that without us, though. Uh, my my guess would be it's something that he can do while occupying something else. He probably <laughs> finished up what he was doing and probably just hopped back on his PC. But uh, I'm going to take out... Uh, about about four kunai. Uh, I'm gonna toss them in this pile. I guess I'll have to like walk over here actually, so I'll just like get a little closer, toss it in a pile, and uh, you know I guess I'll end my turn because I can't do a uh, alchemy <laughs> without this circle. Oh, well, if you're doing alchemy, that's entirely different. I mean, you're going to let me do Alcastry? That was your class in <laughs> Alcastrist? It sure is. Oh, well, yeah. You're allowed to do Alca- Alcastry. Just keep All in right. mind, you've been told you shouldn't. I mean, he ain't looking. He actually told me to do it. <laughs> <laughs> but he's not looking now, is he? He sure isn't. So, uh, yeah. Hey, around the corner, look who the sneeze is. I'll, I'll throw my little shards down. And, uh,. I smell uh, so keep in mind, to make an alkahastric circle, it also requires a four-round action. Yeah, I'll, I'll th- I'm going to throw the shards down first. 
like okay. over here in the next room, I'm gonna draw the circle. Okay. Elijah. You're on your own. So I look at this fucking bear in front of me and I'm like, you know, the third time's the charm, hopefully. Come on, alchemy. Let's oh! Go. Let's do it. Let's go. It's about time. So you see his uh, his thing arcs with with energy. I'm gonna make a hit check. I may still fuck this up. And remember, the boosted damage is only based on what your intent was, not based on the roll itself. Just a straight um, just a straight and and that's a crit. Nice. That a boy. Nice. Is a double damage on top of it all. Yep. That a and boy. Add, a, add seven to that. I'm sorry. So that's sixty. All right. So that's thirty-one. You said add seven. Yeah. So sixty-two. Hey, I got even higher. Good life. <laughs> What's the number? Uh, it's so it's. Four plus seven is sixty. Is thirty-one. So sixty. So sixty-two. Is that what you said? Yeah. It would be. Yeah. 62. Okay. You said it was even higher. I wasn't sure if you gave me a wrong number. Oh uh, yes, it is still up. Damn. But it is taking a hefty hit. You see, it is growling with pain at that one. So I throw a four to save or good anything. Boy. It does not. He was not using stun gun. Yeah. I'm gonna lot. look over at um Asawa ah Asawa and be like, "Hey, buddy, listen, this is one strong bear. Can you make me a uh, hide out of this so I can uh, wear this as armor?" Would give me good experience working with flesh, so I'll give it a try when we're done. I have another right. one at the beginning of the cave that we can try as well. I've already killed one so far. That's fine with me. I just I have I have. This one I've been fighting for a while. You know, he seems pretty strong. Hopefully we can make it out of this one. Either or, doesn't matter. Let's do it. Three swords. We're killing this bastard. That's it. That's a miss. That's a hit and a crit. <laughs> Let's, let's... <laughs> Go oh, the mouth blade crits. <laughs> so there's the first one with this, and then it's a one D. Oh my god! It's you can see it is now. Its energy is failing quickly. It is still alive, but you can tell it is on its last leg. Uh, all right, also, uh, do it now. And you're up, Elsawa. Yeet! Yeet! Do it for the Venusaur. Do it for the Venusaur! Oh, god damn it, Red! He <laughs> <laughs> grabbed Ivan and yeeted him. Ooh, I can oh pick my. Ivan. Wait, Ivan's wielding his swords. If I grab Ivan by the ankles and swing him while he's wielding his swords, can I do sword damage plus? <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps. What would I have to do? D D two, D three. Uh, I'm not gonna do that <laughs> because with my luck, I will fail, and Ivan's gonna get his head bit off. Exactly. <laughs> or he'll cut his own head off. Right. Yeah, he uh, he could do that. All right, I'm just gonna draw the nine millimeter pistol and just shoot the <laughs> try to shoot the thing in the head. God damn, he just walked up. Well, I would have done that, motherfucker. <laughs> Dude, I'm trying to kill this thing before it does any more damage to you. Look at it. You got a pretty pin, bro. Yeah, and this does more damage than anything else I have. L listen, look at these swords. You see these? Yeah, ching. And while you're showing off the ching... Yep, so here it comes. Oh, and I thought it, the bear roars. I thought the bear was attacking. 
the bear roars, and you shoot it in the head, and you see it drops. Can I release it from the uh, stone as a movement action, like I did yeah. before? All right, I'm going to release it so that the bear hot is free. <laughs> All right, that's time for the bear to attack. You see, it climbs up dead. No, the other one. Attacks <laughs> oh, and it misses. Song will. I yep. want it. I want this cloak. <laughs> Max, you're up. Max, can I have this one? You can. You have this one. Go ahead. Thank you. I'm, I'm Other still drawing circle. Don't even bother. Okay. I'm still drawing circle. All right, Elijah. You can never be too careful. Fucking cock my arm back again. Same lightning, hopefully going through my yeah. arm. That's not a lightning going through my arm, but I'm gonna stab it anyway, bitch. <laughs> I, get, I think we've just got some performance anxiety. Yeah, roll one d twenty. Cocks back. <laughs> All right. See, so just kind of bats it out of your hand. Not out of your hand. You see, it just bats it away. You cock back and accidentally throw it at Max. Fair. <laughs> Reflex. All right, Ivan. I had to unmute, sorry. All right, so, well, with that, um, I mean, I'm, I'm with Alpha, or I'm with Alpha right now, so, uh, we'll go on forward, or what do you want to do, buddy? Did you want to take this back, or did you want to do that here and try that, or do you want to take it back? I think we can come it- back. I think we should try to take it back toward the entrance, plus then we can assist Elijah and Max if they need it. All right, let's do it. We'll start yanking it back. So you can just put us together or whatever our movement. My base movement's only 25 right now toward my turn, so we'll just come back. Mine's dead there. So, so are, you, wait, are you dragging it right now? Me and Ivan are going to carry it. Right now? Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Sherman's still watching those two. It's now the bear's turn. It's going to make another swipe at Elijah. He just another miss. Bears. Max, you're up. All right. You got this? This bear sucks. I just suck even harder, apparently. I'll be all right. All right. If you need it, just jump back. Sure thing. More than five feet. <laughs> lack of opportunity. And all right, already in action to, uh, oh, I've to create it. the bear trap. All right. I've missed this fucking with this fucking rapier too much. I'm gonna sheath my rapier and I'm gonna pull out my gun. <laughs> this always works. <laughs> it's always Careful works. Spoken like a true American. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Did somebody say barely a fail? <laughs> Barely. Yeah. Did somebody yeah, say my gun? <laughs> no. That's a fucking crit, though. Yeah. So, still 18 damage. Mm-hmm. Takes a big ol' hit that. You can see it's definitely starting to limp on. Sit Ivan down. Atsawa, you both <laughs> continue on. Sherman just kind of eyes you curiously as you pass by, but he doesn't say anything. It's 80 points of damage. I want to yell up the hallway. How are you guys doing up there? Real okay. kid. bear sucks. <laughs> doing fine. So that means you're doing <laughs> How okay. Are you? We're okay. We, we found a great find. Okay, we're going to take this one out. We're cooking tonight. We're going to eat good. Man, we're eating good tonight, boys. Woo! We'll just make jerky, I guess. I don't <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah! We can make jerky. We can make steaks. We about to make everything, boy. These and I'm gonna close. Have 100 HP. Maybe they have at least 80. Or <laughs> yeah, the bear's gonna swipe at you. Oh, you're a bad man. person. I'm gonna fucking alchemic defense. <laughs> it's a, I mean, it's a boar or a boar, a bear. These things are tanky. Yeah, they are. Eight. Like what the fuck? I beat a I need to make an alchemy check. 
That's success. It just swipes the the stone down again. Because mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I don't know if you guys ever tried to fight a bear in real life. This is pretty accurate. <laughs> um, Next year, up. I did one time, but I pulled the trigger once and it dropped. So I guess Holy my bullet did a hundred damage. Yes. Uh, yeah, well, you know, you you just had better aim in that one. You're old at twenty. And this one, like you know, was flying around. You shot it in the, you know, just like raised it. Yeah, that that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Same ready to action. <laughs> what the fuck, right, Elijah? I still say you go down. That's success. That's a success. Finally. Shocking power is good. Fuck my life. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace. Roll one d twenty. Come on, rebound. Well, it's not a rebound. It's not a rebound. Yeah. Zap himself in the dick. So you see, he just, uh, shoots right by his head. You see, his hair kind of stands up. He like looks around at it, just confused. <laughs> and it goes to swipe at you. <laughs> what the? <laughs> we're still that. While well, you two were still bad. carrying the bear out. Yep. You sure you don't need us? Fine. <laughs> okay. Let me okay, show off for once, damn it. So, All right. <laughs> I mean, back to you, Elijah. I'm assuming Max is just keeping the same action going. The only thing yeah. Elijah shows off is his ability to suck off the Fuhrer. Listen, GG. I'm very good at And Roy Mustang. Hey, hey, that's a hard gig to get. <laughs> More like a hard gag. GG. Yeah. <laughs> damn, that was funny. <laughs> Nine. Nine damage. Still getting lower. Right. Is it? You can, it does have continue, continue to carry the bear. And it might have ninety. Hey Elijah, how are you doing? How, handling those I've grapes done, of wrath? I've done more than I've done more than ninety now. Uh, no, you haven't. Yeah, I have. No, you've done eighty-nine. I did Sixty-two, and then eighteen, and then eighteen, and then nine. So it's, it's been eighty-nine, it's been 89 exactly. damage. Uh, how much damage did we do to that one bear, Connor? Uh, over a hundred. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's a success. That's a success. That's a hit. Let's go. Let's go. On a minimum roll, this thing still might survive. Oh my god. 35. That ain't a minimum roll. <laughs> <laughs> You shoot this thing, and as you shoot into its head, the electricity just causes it to explode. I, I kind of, like, I'm also kind of kind of tired because I've been dodging bear swipes for a second, so I'm, I'm trying to blow off the barrel, but I'm out of breath, so I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sherman yells out as this happens and goes, Well done! Alright, follow their lead. Bring the bears out. Yes, sir. <laughs> And you all start bringing the bears outside. Yeet. Yeet. Well, I think this has been a fine, uh, some fine progress for the day. We'll be coming back into these mines every now and then. We're going to see how far your training's progressing. Now, let's bring these home. So who wants to carry them? I'll take one. I'll take one just because I know I want one of the tides. I'm taking oh. mine. I grab mine specifically. Why don't we make a cart? I'll take the one I killed. <laughs> well, there we go, Max. That's the answer <laughs> I was looking for. <laughs> so he walks up to a tree that's outside. Does all the work himself. There's a cart that appears. Is that we we can work Thanks, work with man. some stone wheels. Yeah. Hey, well, you're you all pushing and pulling it though. Did you make me Roger a hide out. out of this one? While you're at it, <laughs> we'll worry about them once we get home. Deal. You won't. You won't fuck it up. Let's go, bro. No offense, guys. I just. I just know he's a, one of the fucking guys. I just Let's glare go. back at uh, Matt. I glare back at Ivan as he says that. You can try <laughs> if right. you want to, but uh, you can't even use medkits. I don't even want to hear it from you. Now I can. Pretty sure. You see, Tony's feeling a little bit better as you finally made it back. With the slower journey back home. All right, oh, Tony. Oh, oh. Start taking care of these things. You four, you're coming back with me into town. We're going to make some bear stew tonight, and we need some ingredients. Yes, sir. sir. So 
door. I wave bye to Tony as I'm walking. That's the homie. That punch, Tony. I shoot you. <laughs> I want to do one. I want to do one quick thing. Just because I want to do one thing was we're walking away. Okay. I, I want to make sure Zach sees this part. I want to look at Tony. Like I have my spear out because, like you know, traveling, and I want to stab into one of the bears and get it right in the stomach. Retract the spear. Just walk away. I can tell you exactly what his response will be. Okay. <laughs> so inside inside joke to that is: Have you ever had to gut and clean an animal that the stomach was ruptured? No. It is one of the most disgusting experiences you will ever have. That uh-huh. was why I did it because Tony's an asshole, and now he's going to have to deal with a punctured stomach and a bear. Rip, rip, GG. That's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Elsawa grew up in the desert. He knows how to deal with animals to a point, and he's used to cooking and eating them. So I know exactly what Tony would do Tony, in response to this. Tony's just sitting there, like, "What the fuck is what's wrong with this animal? What the fuck?" Tony would just rub salt in the wound. <laughs> so you all arrive. Sherman brings you into a small little market area. He's going around buying some things. All right, get this, get that. And he's just handing, he's buying them and he's just handing them off to you guys to carry. Get some potatoes, some onions, blah, 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 blah. And eventually, you have, you see, another soldier starts running up to you. Goes out, uh, General Sherman. See Sherman turns around. Yes, uh, uh, boys, this is Lieutenant Anderson. What is it, Lieutenant? We've heard reports of uh, something that I've never dealt with, and I wanted to consult with you before I made a decision. All right, go ahead. See Anderson pulls out some folded papers from his jacket and hands it to Sherman, who looks over them with a growing intensity the more he reads on. Are we certain about this information? Yes. We haven't been able to verify it ourselves, but we have multiple sightings and matching witness statements. Huh. Sir? We have one of two options here. Either he's a bleeding heart defector, or he's a spy. Either way, capture him alive is the best resort. So, if he's a spy, we'll torture him, figure out what drachma has been hiding recently. If he's a defector, well, we'll offer him a new life in exchange for that same information. See, sir, that was my uh, in- instinct as well. Thank you. Don't worry about it, Lieutenant. Uh, let this be a lesson to those instincts. He turns to you all in gestures. And learn from Anderson. Most of the time going with your gut is what you need to do. Anderson smiles to you all. Is well, You all should know you have the best teacher around. Listen to him, and, uh, well, I guess I should get back now. Thank you. Before you go, I have a request. Sir? Any information you get on this man, send him my way as soon as as soon as soon possible. These kids are capable, and, well, who knows? They might be able to give us some insight into his matter, into, into the matter, or uh, assist us in his capture. Uh, all right. Very well, sir. That's kind of, that's kind of Agent Smithy, <laughs> Mr. Anderson, Mr. Mr. Anderson, Mr. Anderson, Mr. Anderson. Surprised to see me. <laughs> oh, let's just turn into clones and Connor. I'll show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds so creepy. You're out of context. <laughs> it really does. All Double right. eyebrow up to a wink. Watch it be fucking Sheridan. If it's Sheridan, you're a hoe. <laughs> All right. Let's finish getting these supplies and we'll get back. All right. You finished gathering the supplies? Yes. You head back to the cottage. You get back and you see all of the bears have been completely taken care of. 
They are cleanly cut, placed around the table. The hide completely uh, taken from them. It seems surprisingly perfect. Who's making me? Who's making me something out of this hide? And as you enter, Osawa, you see Tony just smiles at you. <laughs> Tony, I have to say I'm impressed. I grew up cleaning and dressing animals, and this looks exceptional. You do better than most of the people from my tribe. Well, you know, we're alchemists. I, I think I am better than most of the people from your tribe. Damn, that's something Tony would say. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel funny. like it would be right up Tony's alley there. That's it is. It is. That and I'll just totally smile and be like, in some ways, yes. In other ways, no. <laughs> bon appetit. And y'all start eating. As I'm, I'm uh, eating. Some I'm of the bread gets that. turned into a stew, things like that, blah, 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 blah. As I'm eating, I'm staring at that hide the whole time. There's Not four taking hides. Out I know what hide it is. Trust me. Trust it's the one me. with all the slash wounds in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fucking pieces, like, like... I was going to say, whatever we don't use the hide, we could take into town and sell for uh, for sends. We can. I'm we just trying to... Some fucking... of, I imagine we're going to need some amount of money to survive out here. and Hide makes leather. Leather makes money. That's what I'm saying, boys. I'm trying to make that, get that leather bear. Get the bear of the leather. The leather of the bear. <laughs> so as you're all eating, you see Sherman, he starts to speak. Because I'm surprised at all of you. How well you've handled everything today. Taking on a bear is no mean feat. Even if you were using weapons and alchemy. Yeah. Well, so, uh, your containment of that first bear and your execution of him was masterfully handled. Good job. Thank you, sir. Osawa. Osawa? Why did I say that? I just said Osawa. Elijah. (laughs) It's interesting seeing your alchemy up close and in person. It's capable. It's very strong. I look forward to seeing what you'll do with it once you can use it more consistently. Yes, sir. It's not easy. I appreciate your words of kindness. Max, your utility is to be admired. Thank you, General. Ivan! Sir! Well, I can't say I've ever seen someone attack a bear with three weapons before. Yes, sir. (laughs) Saluting, by the way. Saluting. While you're eating. And Tony, excellent job on this, uh, on preparing this. There is a little bit of inconsistency, as some of you may have noticed in the taste. Using alchemy to completely remove this is efficient. You are from the north, aren't you? It says, yes, sir, I am. That makes sense as to why you know what you're doing. Well, let's all get some rest, shall we? We'll reconvene back tomorrow morning. Yes, sir. I go right back to my little spot on the floor. Actually, the I'm going gonna, gonna to grab that hide and use that, that, that hide I've been staring at. And I'm going to lay on top of that for a bed tonight. That's actually right. a good idea. <laughs> I got my sleeping bag. What are you going to do, Max? <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing. All <laughs> right. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. I'm telling you, this high is going to be the shit, You should bro. use your alkahestry and take the bones from the bears and build yourself a stand for the hammock. Oh my Wait, god. Use the bones to make like two points and then have the bear's actual skin be your hammock. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Oh my god, make me some make me some spone, uh, bone throwing daggers. I'll throw them. Wow, 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 wow. You know, I, <laughs> I don't want to go to bed just yet. I would like to do something then, but I'll wait till everyone else has decide what they want to do. I'm going to bed. But I will use this bear skin instead of my jacket this time. Okay. Yeah, buddy. Look at That's Red awesome. coming up with good ideas. Awesome. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. All right, Elsa, what are you doing? Well, 
I have a single alchemy alchemic circle that is on my spear. Now I can get. You said about you can make specific alchemic circles for certain things, correct? Mm -hmm. What would be the benefit if I was to create an alchemic circle that was specifically for dealing with stone? What would that give me an advantage over my generic circle? Uh, it just gives you a bonus to skill checks. That's all it does. What if you're using the stone in an attack? Or it wouldn't matter there. It will not apply to the hit check. Only to the skill check. So if you're doing something complex with the stone, it will make it an even easier check. But with you already being proficient in it, I'd argue it might not be in your interest. Okay. So I have. I would like to take two of the daggers that I have. I'd like to take one of them, and I would like to attempt to transmute a transmutation circle onto the hilt of the dagger, similar to how I did with my spear, so that I have okay. a circle permanently cast there. Okay. So just an alchemy skill check on metal. Mm -hmm. Okay. You said it's an iron one, isn't it? Yes. And Simple Alchemy already gave me my bonus to my alchemy skill check, so. You succeed. Holy crap. That a boy. That's what he is. I was going to try to do one, and then I was going <laughs> to try to do the other. Can I, get, can I just carry that to make both of them? One for dirt, yeah. one for stone? Yeah, I'll allow that. Yeah. Okay. And if you need to know what the bonus is, I have it specified in the uh, specialized mutation or specialized transmutation or uh, unique transmutation circles that's under that. Actually, I got something I want to do before I go to sleep. Okay. Fuck using it as a as sleeping. No, no, I don't give a fuck about that. Can I ask that teacher to make that uh that uh little uh, leather for me <laughs> so I can have that? Oh, he's already gone to bed. Oh, has he? Mm -hmm. Uh, where? So you can, of course, oh. knock on his door. Yeah, why not? You know, I'll knock on his door. Knock, knock, knock. That was a mistake. Oh, why would... I... You go up, you knock on his door. You see he opens it with an annoyed look. Yes. Sir, I, I hate to disturb you, but before we well, go... Uh, you are. Uh, yeah, I understand that. Uh, before we go tomorrow and do things, I was wondering if you could help me out with your alchemy. Since I'm a soldier, I can't really use alchemy. So I'm trying to benefit myself. So that way I can protect the team and myself while we're out in combat. I was wondering you know what if you could I help think me. would greatly benefit you more than more than this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here it comes. Teamwork. Ask your team. Yeah. He shuts the door. Yep. I was gonna do that. Also, uh, buddy. <laughs> I, you wanna make me that uh you wanna make me that buddy? Uh, yeah, I can. I was just reading the unique transmutation circle, so... Yeah, you're good. That's all we needed to know. Okay. UTC. What is UTC? Unique transmutation circle. I mean, I guess... I mean, okay. It's a bonus to, to ST, so specialized transmutation. Connor, so would that, if I would, make this... Would oh, that sorry, be specialized ahead, transmutation for just a specific uh, material? Yes, that's what specialized transmutation is. Okay, so it allows it'll just give me a plus five bonus to doing stone or doing dirt, but if I try to use one of those for something else, it'll give me a negative five. Yes. So if I accidentally use the stone one to try to do dirt, it'll actually take a minus five penalty. Yes. Okay. Uh yes. Uh uh yeah, Ivan, what did you uh how did you want me to form this, I guess? So I guess how I'd want you to form this as a I guess as a as a, a vest. And then make uh two arm sleeves that are like not attached to the vest. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. You'll need some way to fasten the front. Hmm. Um 
let me go look. For, is there uh, any chunks of bone remaining from the bear? Because I could actually use the bone and make small buttons to actually transmute through the actual leather to have bone to basically make bone buttons. Ooh. I love that. Okay, then that is what I'm going to attempt to do. I'm going to attempt to transmute, and technically I'm not even really transmuting it so much, is I could, depending on the size of this, all I would have to do is kind of drape it over Ivan, and I could just use one of my knives, and I could cut it to cut the majority of it to okay. fit him, and then just transmute I onto the parts like cut a piece, make a round cylinder for a sleeve, attach it, and then just transmute and try to transmute it like I'm welding it together, like stitching it. Yeah. Oh, oh thank okay, God! I so, thought you were about to fucking. So that would be more just yeah. hide as opposed to leather. Because yeah, leather so is dried out, don't you? Yes. So it's it's going to be a hide vest, hide vest with bone buttons. Uh, here's my huh? skill check. Oof! Not great. Yeah. Oof. I'm going to say that's a fail. Okay, wait, I think I might have a spirit die. Can I use it for that? Yeah, you can give it to it. I'll give it for you that. Are I you want sure? That. Yeah, bro, go ahead. Use it. All right. one. Uh, I'll let that succeed. Yes. Thank Barely. God. Barely. All right. Partially out right. for the spirit die usage. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Woo. You missed it being okay, too tied yeah. around him and, like, choking him. Elsawa, Elsawa, you're kind of choking me, bud. Elsawa, please, hurry. Elsawa. So he has made it. It is fine now. It looks real nice. Looks like the kind of thing that would make Peter throw a fit. You look like yeah. a member of the Forsworn. All right, all right. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I was badass as fuck, if all that matters. How's, my, how's Mark Arth doing these days? <clears throat> Rip. Let's be honest. Fuck who you. even knows? Who even knows where Mark Arth is? Nobody. Did, uh... <laughs> I Ooh, it's one of the I few scenes it. that's like I always forget where it is on the map. I so remember wait, where it is, but I never. The only time I ever go there is I go for the Thieves Guild mission where I have to go take Calselmo's Dwarven writing stuff, and that's literally the only reason I go. Yeah. Would the, would this count as armor? Like, would I get an increase in my AC at all, or no? Doesn't matter. There is armor. Oh, Maybe. what kind of armor is available? I mean, I hey, say I'll take... counts as a leather jacket. Grants hey. a bonus one to AC. 21 AC? I'll take it. Let's go. I'll take a plus one. And guys, don't forget, if I die, you bond my soul to the car or something. <laughs> oh man, when we get to the point of Ivan reloaded, the Herbie reloaded. <laughs> oh my transformer. god, <laughs> dude, I will fucking die! I swear to God, I will laugh so fucking hard. <laughs> I mean, we could do something really before. retarded, just like you know, reincarnate you as something like a marsh shadow. And... Oh my goodness. <laughs> You can make him a Barbie doll for all he, you know, for all the power he has over it. Ooh. Oh my god! Right? Oh my god! Wait, we're gonna bond Ivan's soul to a blow-up doll. Oh, oh my! God. Don't worry, <laughs> Ivan. Those don't exist yet. You're okay. You're okay. Thank God. Go to Barbie. Barbie don't need gather, but... thank, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. so y'all go to bed? Yeah, I'm going to bed now. I'm yep. happy. Just I used to remain. To I used me. to remain as a blanket. Like, ah, there we go. Ah. All right, and then with that, <laughs> oh, we are up. going yeah. to finish this session. Woo! Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you okay. next time. Thank you. Nice. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Next. Well, thank you for watching. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications if you like this. If you're looking to support us, be sure to check the description below for a link to our merch store and Patreon you can check out. Speaking of which, I'd like to give a special thank you to this month's patrons. Alright, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.